r slash dating over 30. Lavi off the term says. Lack of TEXTING equals LACK of interest? So, I 32 female, been seeing this 34 male, for the last month. We've met 4 times so far, and have plans to meet on Monday. In person everything seems to be going good, we talk effortless for hours while holding hands, have been intimate, kiss goodbye, and at least I feel a real interest and connection. However, between hanging out we barely text other than to set up the next time, we had both been initiating meeting up again. I tried to be a bit flirty, while texting last time, which he ignored, and just replied to the other stuff in my text. He has never really complimented my appearance, or told me he is interested, or even likes me. It makes me feel very insecure, because people do, that when they are interested in someone, right? I have a disorganized attachment style, so this all makes me want his acknowledgement even more. Guys I've dated before who have been clearly interested makes me want to withdraw instantly, not very healthy I know. Deep down I don't think he's interested, since if you doubt, if a guy is interested he's not, you know when a guy likes you, if a guy is interested he will text, or try to make contact a lot. I just don't know, if I should try to talk to him, and how to even approach the subject? I know a month is not a very long time, but still, probably long enough to know, if you have any sort of interest. Was contemplating whether to text him today just to check in, we have not been in contact since Tuesday. But then a voice in my head, tells me don't chase him, he'll be turned off, if you initiate texting. Would it be a terrible idea for me to text him? I'm so confused over it all and overthink everything. Should I just let it go and accept, that he probably is not into me at? Matrim what says? I just don't know, if I should try to talk to him, and how to even approach the subject? I know a month is not a very long time you should, and you should be true to yourself, when it comes to this. It's something that's important to you, and to ignore it is to abandon your own needs. You want to communicate, and there's nothing wrong with that. While you're doing, so you should also make it a point, to relay to this person how you feel about texting, so you two can hopefully have a conversation about this topic, since it's something, that makes you upset and causes you to overthink. He seems to be into you, and once he hears your perspective, and then you hear his, you'll probably feel more at ease. He'll also probably want to compromise in some way, to make you feel more comfortable. And yes, bringing up the conversation will feel uncomfortable at first, but the best and deepest conversations are exactly these types of conversations. You will feel better having done so, and if he is not on the same page then you will know first and, so you can find someone who is better able to meet your need. Try something like, how do you feel about texting in between dates? I like to text with people every day is to check in, how do you feel about that? Deep down I don't think he's interested, since if you doubt, if a guy is interested he's not, you know when a guy likes you, if a guy is interested he will text, or try to make contact a lot. Deep down, you have some anxious thoughts and they are forming a narrative. It's black and white thinking. Not everyone does these things, since everyone is different. Imagine yourself high up in the sky and you see some clouds. Those clouds are these thoughts. Just watch them pass by, and know that they are just clouds, and not some sort of truth, that these clouds want you to think they are. Once you communicate with him, this will become even more clear, that these clouds are just clouds and nothing more. Do not listen to anyone who is trying to tell you what this guy thinks about you. No one knows him except you. Also, keep in mind that people who do that are projecting their own past experiences and or trauma onto you, and your current experience. It'll make those clouds become even bigger, if you start to believe what people are telling you about this person, that they don't know. Communication, along with some mindfulness, is how you break these clouds up. Fatsa Kost says. However, between hanging out we barely text other than to set up the next time I know many people are telling that this is not a big deal, and that many people are not big texters but I disagree. I do think this is an indicator. 
maybe that is just his communication style, which seems quite lacking, and you have to decide if that is something you are okay with. Barely texting between seeing him other than to set up the next meeting sounds more like an FWB than a developing relationship. I personally do not think that your instincts are off. He either is not that interested or this is just the sort of communicator he is. Either way it seems that you are not happy about it. You are getting to know him and this is part of the process. r slash dating over 30. Jesse Poo says. For people who meet in the wild, do you just find someone cute and straight up ask them on a date? So I've been trying to meet people out in the wild for dating specifically, I have no issues making friends, I have an overload, and I know a lot of people around me want to f back slash ck but that's not what I'm after, I'm in surrounded by poly and kink people, I'm monogamish and I'm looking for something serious, have been for a long time. I've had success on old here and there, but never anything longer than a few weeks. So maybe not success lol I've been making efforts, when I'm out at the last few events to meet people, I may get weird cause of this pressure of dancing around things, when I meet someone. We sometimes get each other's insta and chat here and there, like old, I will not chase anyone, I've worked a lot on myself, and my self worth. I will initiate, I will gauge flirtiness and mutual interest, but if I don't see them initiating or giving me enough hints or taking action. I won't push. And I'll drop it. I don't mind doing most of the work, that's actually always been the case, but it's got to be 60 over 40, and I have to get something from them. Like if we are talking at an event and they don't really ask questions back, or I'm the one constantly going to them to chat, and I don't see them coming to me, I drop it. I've seen some of those pick up artists, I really don't want to take advice from them. Just have a small chat then cut too, I think you're cute, what's your number or insta, or actually they just approach a woman, and tell them they think they're cute then start chatting, sometimes they ask questions I would never answer I roll like what school I go to, for safety but in a ho, let's go on a date sometime. Now they don't show all the no, they don't show what happens, after obtaining said information, and if they actually did go on anything. I also want to have enough back and forth for it to naturally lead there which so far hasn't what are people's thoughts on this i keep doing the activities i like i haven't had much luck meeting people i vibe with there either all the people i'm interested in don't seem to reciprocate i'm not interested because they're not showing interest because in the moment they seem to be and when i see they don't i do not continue I do get some attention when I go out but not people I'm interested in. Edit, I'm a woman who dates women mostly, so there is a high probability it not happening, though ironically I've picked up a lot in a straight bar, and never in a gay bar or event, though those were never more than a night anyway so not really meaningful. I feel a lot of women are more passive, and won't make the moves and or you aren't even sure if this person is into women, so you don't take the chance to Mela Barbarella says. He literally walked by my porch four weeks before we started talking. Then his dog fell in love with my cats and our love for old cartoons came up because the whole dog version of Peep Lepew cat stalking my kitties. It's all too surreal, but hella fun nonetheless. Totally not lame 84 says. I, a male, absolutely have and I have had some good results, but mostly this is nerve wracking to women as it's all a bit jarring. I have found that having a fun flirty conversation is good, and then asking them for their social media before I leave is good or maybe suggesting we go get a coffee sometime, and getting their phone number before I leave works then I message them a couple days later, and joke a bit then invite them on an actual short event. No pressure, light hearted. Fun, and short commitment seems to be the keys to success. Stuff Iris Dung says. I've quit the apps far too many times and the last time will hopefully be my last ever. I'm a woman and I've been hoping to meet my man out in the wild. It's to the point that I don't mind going up to one. I don't ask men out, but by the time I hype myself out to go up to a man, he's nowhere in sight. Plus there's few I see out here. Pence Secundus says. 
Yes, it's not that hard. Literally anywhere BTW. Spartan Vasilius says. Yes. What Fshese says. This is basically how my husband and I met. He approached me, chatted, got my number, and asked if I'd go on a date with him. Bisquick Ninja says. Yes. It's fairly effective. Just have to make good decisions though. Decent Wheel 6321 says. I go to a bar and sit at the bar, and have a drink or two. I live within walking distance of this bar. When it works, a woman will usually walk up to the bar near me, and order a drink. I start chatting and joking around. If they stick around once they get a drink I keep it up, and start playfully flirting. At some point I say, that I live a few blocks away, and ask if they'd like to join me for another drink. I always say I have better wine, scotch, whiskey than what the bar has. If they're up for it then you know the rest. Sometimes there will be a woman, that keeps giving me eye contact and I will then have to approach and play the same game as I mentioned. That's all I do. Sometimes it works, and sometimes the bar is empty. I have one other cheat code. I live in a tourist town and I know where people will be at certain times during peak season. I will be there waiting, and it's like shooting fish in a barrel. I'm older and not great looking at all. I dress well, have a personable and fun personality, and with a few drinks I can close the deal from time to time. This is my formula, and it works for me. Edit, I edited to remove a couple of pointless sentences, that came off negatively, but I didn't mean it that way. That's all for this video thank you for watching please subscribe.